Welcome back guys, so straight into the tips First base we have here This is the plan we're gonna use to take it out The plan I will show you here is a really consistent plan And if you ever come across this base You can use this plan to get the 3 star easily The tunnel is right here So we'll definitely use the king to get that And yeah, we'll use the flinger to go for that Multi inferno that's around the warden tower there and yeah, we'll charge from the side into the merge cannon going into the core that's the plan so we'll be using the flinger and the king to keep the queen moving to the core so i'm going with the flinger to the cannon over here all right i'm just gonna let you get off a few shows i could place a wizard onto the barrack that's the funnel for my queen starting her going down here so i know there's two motor my flinger is going into but yeah, I'm gonna use some freezes, try to get the value. I'm gonna break into the queen into here, into the merge cannon section right here. And yeah, I could have done better with the freezes on the motor. Cause I had to focus on my queen, it locked down back to the finger. I had to go with an next freeze. And yeah, queen ability lost. But it's all good, this charge is too good. You see, we waste two freeze. We're not gonna pick up that multi, but yeah, this shot just too OP. So I'm gonna break my king, start him to the tone hall, just like that. He's responsible for that. Alright, got my queen to the core. Finger took out that merge. Archer tower, which is great. Raised up my king. And he cleared all of this area. So Whenever you're doing this type of charge, make sure to send the RC like this. We're gonna send her to the Archer Tower here. We want her to go into the middle and take out the Builder out with the Monolith. So what you can do is when the Fox is out of the Invis, you can freeze the Monolith here. If you have the Ace file, you can also pop the ability and she should wipe out this part of the base. So now we can go with the Lalo. Going into the last section here, just like this, go with some head on toss, rage, warden ability, and that should be it, guys. This base is not hard. This one is just simple. Use this approach, and it should work. Just remember, charge the queen into the side of the base where the merge cannons are. Going into the core, we're gonna use the flinger on the flank to clear that flank, and then we use the king for the tone hall. When the king take out the tunnel, you send the RC to all of those builder outs with the monolith. You can freeze the monolith whenever the fox is out of the invis. You just start the lalo going into the last section with the head hunters. And you just warden ability. And it should be it guys. This one is easy. You, you should, if you do this step, it should work. Alright, going into the next one here. Okay, we have a next simple one here. With this plan, it will be easy to 3 star. So that's the plan. Look at it real good. And yeah, I'm going to attack it really fast here because I know I could take it down. So I didn't really scout for long, like 10 seconds. Alright, so we start the flinger, go into that multi, you start the queen right here. Make sure to break the wall early. And yeah, start the king right away too because if you don't, your queen will go around. And yeah, make sure you raise her up early too because the monolith and the expo will take your queen ability if you don't rage early. Alright, queen is safe. We use a wizard here because normally our queen will ignore the ear defense and that will pick off our healers. So we have to use a wizard there. Alright, flinger is on that multi so that looking good. The funnel is already set over there. So break the wall do first wall to the bomb tower here and yeah now we can target to the core so make sure to send the wall breaker at this angle i'm gonna draw it on the screen make sure you target that so yes now we have access to the tunnel we're gonna take out two merge at the tower just a lot of value the king is even gonna come inside here and yeah 
die and the phoenix is gonna soak up some chops prevent that from your healers so we can just place an x rage on our queen here so she would take care of the tonal while we place this rage we can start with the lalo from this angle make sure to start it like this and yeah basically if you get that wall breaker to the core for the queen it's over so going in with the lalo when I use some loons to take out this Tesla, we can go with the Lava Hound and the Headhunters now. Just like this. And yeah, you can pop a juicy water ability, rage, water ability, and it's just pretty much done. Once you got that war breaker for the queen to the core, you're just looking good to 3 star. So yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of spells if we can do whatever we want with them. So the plan was to set the flinger to the multi that was like the funnel for the queen plus it will get value. Yeah we start the queen over here, we break the wall, make sure to start the king early on this one. Remember to send the wizard for the air defense. Yeah try to get the wall breaker to the core, start the lalo coming in from this angle and it should work guys. Alright. Next base going in. Okay, we have this one. This one is a really tough base. I must admit, it's really tough. But yeah, I come I came up with a plan to take it out. So this is the plan. And yeah, let's go. Alright. So what you wanna do here is to start the queen directly over to the siege workshop. We're gonna use a sneaky to funnel her. So yeah, make sure to drop that sneaky first, then the queen, because yeah, my queen is running a lot of problems here. She's going the wrong way. I want her to go right, not left. So I had to use the invis to redirect her. So what you want to do now is to set up the blimp to go for the eagle. So we want the eagle and the monolith. So we'll definitely use a rage here. Make sure to break that wall that I break for the queen. That will allow your queen to go inside and take out that x-bow. Okay. Since we got the C, we got the CC pool, the monolith and the eagle. Starting the king up top to set a funnel. Our queen will clear this um, expo compartment with the two Tesla. Yeah, just place some minions around here because nothing can shoot them. So just free building. And yeah, can give her queen a rage because she will definitely go to ability. And she still went to ability because the healers were frozen. Yeah. So, break for the king there. Make sure to break that junction. Break these junction, guys. So, the first I'll break, then these junction. Then you could target to the core here. So, nice. King go inside. Trying to help our queen. I really wanted him to go over and attack that merge Asha Tower. But yeah, I'll just use my RC and then start the Lalo over to the left here. So, going with the RC, straight to the merge at the tower. Okay, starting the Lalo on the flank. Make sure to rage for my queen, keep her alive, I want the town hall. So yeah, starting the Lalo going in. RC is gonna meet up with the Lalo. So what we can do here is to send some hit hunters. In the warden ability, yeah, we can just pop a haste, warden ability. And yeah, this one is really tough. It's just a tough, tough base. I struggle with this base a lot. There's a lot of times I fail. I even one star on it. But this plan will work. So yeah, I now I have a great plan to take it down. So remember, start the queen straight from 3 o'clock. Use a sneaky, make sure to use that sneaky first so she will go to the right and avoid the warden tower. Break into the compartment here so she can take out the expo. Break the junction for the king. Break the next junction here and then you could break to the core. Start the lalo on the flank. Yeah, just set up some headhunters in the warden ability and that should be it. Alright, going in again here. Okay, we have this one. Guys, I'm gonna attack this. I took like no no time to scout. Just gonna attack it right away. This plan is just too good. So going with the flinger. Just like that. Always go with a barb in the flinger because there will always be a Tesla. Yeah, we can start the queen right here and it should tank the motor. Break right there. Make sure to do this break just like that. 
I even gonna mess up a few times, but this one is just too good. It shows that even if you mess up, you will still get the three star. All right, so first stage going in. I'm gonna start the king down to the laboratory. Gonna give him a break. Gonna use the baby dragon as funnel. And yeah, I took my eyes off the queen and that put her to ability. And making on our queen, we could go to Edonta. We could try to break to the single here. I even tried to break from my king. I don't know how to get this wall breaker. But if I got it, it would have been overkill. But it's okay. So queen is on the single. She will take it down and then she will just deal with the core. Even though the stone all is far away, she will break the wall because she won't have nowhere else to go. So what you can do is just the rage her. She's fighting clan castle troops. Simple poison finger. Your finger on this base will do a lot. So just know that this approach will work 100%. So we can start the RC over here. Yeah, we could place an next rage on our queen so she could go through the wall faster. We have a invis here so as soon as this fox is about to go out of invis we can invis her. And then start the lalo on the same flank. And then our RC should go invisible again. And this is how we take it down guys, we can just freeze up the multi with the monolith, send the remaining moons over here to funnel all of your loans through the core. We could also freeze the multi again, and yeah it's just over here, we, we could swag the water ability if we want. So you see you will have the water ability to, to swag, so you will definitely three star this space, this one is really easy. Alright, going in again, we have this space, this is gonna be the plan. So for box bases, as soon as I see Infernos behind the town hall, multi Infernos, I always charge for the town hall and then and my queen should also pick up those multis. So what I'll do is to use the flinger on the side here, so I'm placing it to this side. I'll use the wall breaker here, okay I could break the wall. So that's nice, that's looking fabulous already. So just waiting for the king to move here so I could target the warden tower right away. So that will be less damage on my queen. So I went with a balloon here to see if it will be in range and it's not so that good. And yeah, we have to use some sneakies on these collectors so our queen could stay pushing through the core. All right. So I used the wall breaker there, I noticed that the wall breaker will target that wall Even though my queen go to ability here, I could target it And that's just really good, we can start the king over here Because our flinger is already on the other side, so we don't really have to worry about that Alright, so everything looking good so far Our queen is going where we want her, flinger is doing a lot of work over here So you know that that side is already funnel King is setting a funnel on that side, so my queen will definitely go for this multi. So yes, looking great. Right, he killed the enemy queen. Okay, sending some coco loons for my queen for the healers, so she would survive through here. Yeah, poison those clan castle troops. Could use a head on top over here to help the hitties. And Yeah. We could go with the next rage, we're just full of rage here, so we'll definitely be using one for the RC, so yeah, we just have a lot of spells, a lot of spells to utilize. So I'm just gonna rage her up, and I could start the RC over where the king left off, and since we have a lot of spells left over, we're gonna be using some for the RC here. So firstly, we're gonna use a freeze here because that rage tower is gonna go off, and yeah. Use an next rage for the queen. We invis the RC, raise her up, pop her ability, and she's just gonna go crazy. So starting the Lalo down here. You don't really have to start the Lalo like how I did. You can also start the you could have started the hound over there. Where the first year defense is. But yeah, I just I was just feeling like okay, I could just start there because there's just no damage and yeah. The RC went crazy here with the ace while in a rage and 
yeah, we have the vulnerability we could do whatever we want we didn't have to use it you could have swag it so this is how we take down this one so i don't know if you guys will come across this space but if you come across this space and notice it then do this charge it should work because you will have a lot of spear spell to help you all right going in again so if you guys are noticing there's just a lot of box bases and yeah that's the meta in catch up clans right now people trying to defend against root riders root riders are going crazy please nerf them please take them out of the game please supercell all right so all right box base again you know the strategy starting the flinger at one side we're gonna go straight into the tunnel with the queen and yeah we're gonna use the king on the next side the funnel my queen into the core so that's the plan guys starting the flinger this is the funnel already set we could start right to the one tower but no she'll be in a lot of damage so i'll just start to the archer tower here i want her to tank the expo but yeah guys the goal here to, is to not lose the queen ability yeah i'm just setting up some fun i don't know why i take so long to start the screen charge going with a rage right away because we're sending her in a lot of damage and yeah we could also use a head on time that rage nice we got the poison tower with a loon there's tessa over here so my finger will definitely kill that right nice starting the king up there queen going in right i should have went to the freeze here but yeah i didn't know the monolith would shoot my queen so yeah now i know so i'll definitely fix that we could break the king into the scatter shot area here and he will definitely pick up that scatter shot so unfortunately i lost the queen ability on the expo retargeted to the flinger so that's why it didn't get a lot of value but yeah i know i know that when my queen step up for the tunnel she will be in range of that monolith and yeah king going crazy over there Looked like he wanted to go outside i noticed he was gonna go to phoenix there so i send the rc right away so yeah i send her because the king is tanking yeah now i'm just gonna clear this a defense i go with a minion first to take that shot and i'm just gonna send a lot of balloons going into the core here so i didn't use any lava on because the air defense was just right here so now i'll use it to create a funnel down here and yeah this is just perfect all of those zones will go to the core yeah this is something i noticed on the base while i was attacking i reached to that part and i was like okay if i send a lot of balloons into here it will go straight to the core all i have to do is to just funnel the side over here the wizard tower so i just save the hound and just use it to tank and yeah this is how i take it down and if you guys come across it you should also try this all right going in again here okay we have a really easy one here this is gonna be the plan guys these bases are just easy once a base is giving you free value with the flinger it's just easy once you're getting like three main defenses or even two main defenses just take that value with the flinger once there's no expos and also motor if you know to tank motor then you could take the value when there's a motor so yeah starting the flinger to this spot all we have to do is to charge the queen from down here we're gonna pick up a multi right away yeah we could just break the wall to the monolith and that will give us access to the tunnel so a pretty easy base here and since we put the finger over this side we're gonna use the king over that side so it's just it's a basic queen charge a basic one so we're just letting the base into four four parts we're using the queen to take out the town hall yeah using the king and the flinger to take out each flag we could just use the lalo for the back end so yeah we already got the wall breaker to the monolith so we know we have access to that town hall just keep your queen alive yeah we could start the king over to the right we could break the junction between the bomb tower and the merge archer tower and that will also open up um, the compartment to the 
scatter shot so our king could go and get more value so starting a funnel for my king there yeah starting him going down into that compartment give him a wall break queen is on the town hall finger is still going and yeah just pretty much lock. queen charge all the 101 king should go into the scatter shot compartment so that's good so what i'll do is to start the rc on the flank here while he's gonna go inside there and tank i could use the invis on her since she just came out of the fox and as soon as she came out of that she can go back into the fox invis we can start the lala up top here just like this we just only have the eagle left this is just a wrap just a simple plan and a simple base so this is how we get it done really nothing hard just try the tone on finger for that side king for this side all for the back end so we split it into four yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys do enjoy this one hope you guys learned something from it yeah i'll see you guys again take care bye no one can find me there's no sign of life out here i scream and it goes silent